If you want to know how you can make a money collecting system whenever a player dies in Roblox like GTA 5 has, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial we will be making a money collecting system where if uh, the player dies, they will drop some money and then after that another player can pick it up and the worth uh, or like the value of that money is going to be whatever you want. If you want it to be $10,000, just set it to $10,000. We will be coding that in today's video and I think GTA 5 has it too where if you die you get like sent to a hospital but you have to pay like and if you die you like lose money and all that stuff and then another player can pick it up i don't play gta 5 that much so i don't know exactly but um i hope i said it correct and if you do enjoy this video give it a like subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and uh, only 10 percent of my viewers are subscribed to me so please subscribe i need it no okay, i don't but uh, subscribe if you want and um without further ado let's get into the tutorial so enough talking um, we should get to coding and it's pretty easy it's only two scripts it's barely work so you want to go to server script service and you want to add in a script like that I always rename it to server so you can rename it to server too if you would like now we can do local players we need to define the players service first which is local players this is the game Call get service players play whoa there we go and now we need to do the same for server storage so that's going to be local server storage is equals to game come on get service server storage and what get service does is uh it will request the service and if it doesn't exist uh it will create the service now we need the the the, the function or if a player joins uh, we will be executing the rest of our code. So to do that, that's going to be player, players, that player added, and player added, as you would check the, uh, what is it, the explanation, it says fires when a player enters the game, which is exactly what we need. So players, that player added, colon connect, function, player, we need a variable, and we're gonna do the player one. So everything, uh, like me, nobidopidev, would be the player. So now we need the money leader stats because you need money to drop something, right? So local leader stats is equal to instance.new, a folder. And we have to add that folder to the player, but it's leader stats, so we need to give it a name first. So leader stats, that name is equal to leader stats. Because uh, make sure it's a lowercase l or else it doesn't work. And now all we have to do is we need to set it to the player. So that's going to be leader stats that parent is equal to the player. It's going to be inside the player. And now uh, we need the money. Uh, like we're going to be creating the money. So it will be like on the leaderboard. You know, you have the leaderboard like your name. And then you would have the leader stats with the money. So local money is equal to instance at new. And uh, money is a number. So we will be using a number value. Just like this. Um, money needs a name, which is money.name. As you can see, a non-unique identifier of the instance. So money.name is equals to money. I don't know why it goes like that, but uh, we need a value. And we're going to give every player that joins automatically $5,000. We need to set the parent. So money.parent, as you can see, determines the... Blah 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 blah. So money the parent is equal to leader stats. And if you join your game right now, you will see that if you go to the top right, as you can see, money five thousand, which is what we need. And uh, before we continue, we need the we need the money. So we're gonna go to view. We're gonna go to toolbox. We're gonna go to meshes, and we're gonna type in money. And I usually get the first one. Because uh, it is really tiny though. But just scale it up. I just do it like this. And here is my money. Put the money in server storage. Rename the mesh part to money part. 
go back to the server uh, you can click this away and now let's do the money dropping first and then in the other script we will do the picking up for the money so player we need the character first so player that character added colon connect function and for this variable we're going to be using uh, character now we need the humanoid which is local humanoid and a humanoid is always in the character so character dot humanoid and now we need the worth of the of the money because we will be setting a value to it and we'll be calling that the worth so local value and just leave it empty we will be giving it a value later on now we need to detect if a player died so humanoid that died it doesn't show up uh, in, the, in the thingies like if you do player dot character added you'll get that but you don't get that for died but just do humanoid that died call and connect function and now we need to make a quick check um, so it is impossible to go in dead because if you would go in dead then you're in red and you don't want that so we'll be checking um, for this tutorial we will be using uh, a thousand so if you would die you will drop a thousand dollars but if you would have below that we won't go like minus a thousand or whatever so if player that leader stats that money that value is the same or below as 999 so if you have 999 dollars or way less then we will be um like we will be we will be removing that value and not a thousand because else you would go in debt and that is not good so if that's the case then the value is going to be whatever you have which is in your money so which is going to be value is equals to player dot later stats dot money dot value but if this is not the case if you have above a thousand dollars we will simply be um like we will simply remove a thousand dollars so value is equals to a thousand if you die you lose the money so we have to remove that too so player dot later stats dot money dot value minus equals uh, minus equals value because we just set the value over here and it will be removed from your money now we need the the quick um, money uh, spawning so now so first of all we need to get the position of the player so that's going to be local position position is equal to character that humanoid root part dot c frame because the c frame is the exact point in the world wherever you are that is your c frame and now we need a uh, local money part because we would need we need to define the money part so that's going to be local money part is equals to server storage the money part colon cologne and now we need to set the c frame of that money part so money part dot c frame and is that's going to be the same as your character as your position like wherever you are that's going to be your position but 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 we will um be doing it a little bit offset so you're not so it's not exactly in your character but a little bit away so we got to do times we got to manipulate it by saying as you can see c frame is a data type that represents both a 3d position and orientation so position uh, times uh, c frame dot new and we will be moving it um, four studs away from you so that's going to be zero comma zero comma minus four now uh, we need um, the player name in the money part but first of all we need to add in a string value and rename the string value to original original add in a number value and rename it to worth add in a script and rename it to pickup but just exit the script Boop. so now we need to do money part dot original dot value is equals to player dot name so we'll check in the uh, pickup script we'll check if you are touching it and if you are touching it that means you won't get it because you died you won't be able to get your money back so money parts and the worth of that money is going to be the value. So if you would have uh, $410, then the value is going to be 410 and this will also be 410 And all we have to do now 
set the parts to workspace. And your workspace is where everything is. Like the base plate, if I'm moving in uh, in replicated storage, the thing is gone. And if I move it back, it's back again. Now we need one last script, which is the pickup script. So first of all, we need the player's service again. So go back to your script and copy this line. Go back and copy paste it. Simple as that. Now we need to define the worth and the original. So local original is equals to script.parent.original, which is like script.parent.original, like that. And we do the same for worth. So local worth is equals to script.parent.worth. So that's going to be script.parent.worth. We need to add in a cooldown. So like if you touch it, you uh, else you would be able to get infinite money whenever you touch it. So we will be adding in a cooldown. And once that cooldown is set to false, you cannot touch again. So local debounce, a cooldown is called mostly a debounce, and that's going to be set to true. Now we need to detect if the money part has been touched. So script.parent.touched, colon connect, function, object. So whatever touches the part is called an object. Now we will be checking if the object has a humanoid, and only players have a humanoid. So if object dot parent call on find first child humanoid oh my lordy humanoid so if you have a humanoid then you will get a specific variable called player so local player is equal to and we will be using the players service and we will be using colon get player from character and let's see returns the player whose player dot character matches the given instance or nail oh yep so get player from character object dot parent. Now we need to detect if another player is touching it, and if there's a cooldown. So if player dot name is other than the original dot value. So if you got player one, which is going to be this player one, and um, you would touch it again, we're now checking if uh, player one has another name um, than original but if player 2 touches it it is another it's an other name so they can touch it but if it's player 1 if you would do is equals equals to then it, it we're checking if it's the same but we're checking if it's other I hope that's a little bit clear so let's believe a blank again and debounce is equals equals to true then we will be we will be immediately setting that debounce to false. So um, that means it cannot be spammed uh, because we're, the script will only run if it is set to true. But now we're setting it to false again. And now we need to do player dot later stats dot money dot value plus equals val nope uh, worth dot value sorry. And after you picked it up, we're going to be immediately destroying the entire thing. So let's demonstrate in a, um, a test world. So let me do that right now. As you can see, I am now in my test world. And if I would die, boop, I died. And there's now a money pile on the ground. And if I'm player one, as you can see, if you go to the money part, and worth, it is worth $1,000. And the original is player one. So if I would try to touch it, I can't. And now let's get the other account. This is the other account. This is player two, as you can see, player two. And if I try to get it up, boop, I just got it. It it has been destroyed, and I just got a thousand dollars. And now let's try it with uh, less than a thousand dollars. I don't think I can do it like this. Nope, that doesn't work. So let's, uh, let me just change that real quick. So as you can see, we're back again with only $500. And we made a dead system. So if I would die, as you can see, um, I get back to zero. And if you would check the money pile, it is only worth $500. So as you can see, if we go to the other account, we can pick it up. 
and we got a thousand dollars and then I can die again and you know you get the point so this is a quick tutorial on um, the money thingy system collecting thingy you know like GTA 5 so if you did in fact enjoy this small tutorial give a like subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications become a member if you want and all like I say is that my name is Doobie and I say peace out